Then welcome in news just coming. The reports coming in from Pakistan of a firing at an airport lounge in Lahore. That's the news coming in this moment. The incident is being said to be a case of personal enmity between two individuals. The latest update suggests that two people have been killed in the firing. The shooter fired at the victim as he was exiting the lounge after arriving back from Umrah. The police have released a statement saying that they have apprehended the shooter. Now, entry into the airport premises has been stopped as the local police try to bring the situation under control. All right, joining me on the phone line from Islamabad is my colleague Anas Malik. Morning, uh, Anas. Uh, what the latest you're picking up on this shooter and the situation at the airport as we speak? Uh, well, the situation at the airport remains uh, tense as we speak, uh, Ramesh, uh, and uh, uh, the additional uh, police force and rangers have been called in as well uh, at the Alawakwan International Airport where a shooting incident has taken place about uh, uh, some minutes ago. Uh, what is being termed as a case of personal enmity, uh, there were two people who had just arrived uh, and were exiting from the international arrivals uh, and they were shot dead at the main uh, arrival area. Now, what remains uh, uh, questionable is that how did this phone shooter manage to get a weapon inside? And the Inspector General Police, Punjab, has ordered an inquiry in this. Uh, the shooter has been apprehended, as we speak, uh, by the airport security force. Uh, they're yet to reveal the identity. However, one of the two who have been killed, uh, they have been identified as an Umrah, uh, is, uh, one of the Umrah uh, Zairin, and his name is uh, Nafis. Uh, the airport is currently under lockdown. All of uh, the entry has been off, uh, all of the vehicles have been stopped uh, as the police try to bring the situation under control. Yes, Ramesh. All right, as Anas was pointing out, there's been an incident at the airport lounge in Lahore. The incident is being said to be a case of personal enmity between two individuals. The latest update, as Anas suggests, is that two people are dead in the firing. The shooter fired at the victim as he was exiting the lounge after arriving back from Umrah. The police have released a statement saying that they have apprehended the shooter. Entry into the airport premises has been stopped for now as the local police try to bring the situation under control. All right, moving on, the European Commission may get its first woman president soon. The report suggests that after marathon talks at a summit, European Union leaders have finally agreed on names of those who will be leading its main institutions. They have agreed to give two of the top four jobs to women. The European Council President Donald Tusk has praised the deal. Listen in. We have chosen two women and two men for the four key positions. A perfect gender balance. I am really happy about it. After all, Europe is a woman. All right, so German Defense Minister Ursula von der Leyen has been nominated for the president of the European Commission. Von der Leyen is a close ally of German Prime Minister Angela Merkel. Her new role has to be confirmed by a vote in the European Parliament. If she does get the mandate, she will become the first woman to hold this position. French woman Christine Lagarde's name has been put forward for the new head of the European Central Bank. Now, French President Emmanuel Macron had proposed her name for the job. This proposal was backed by German Chancellor Angela Merkel. Tusk has said that she would be perfect for the job. Lagarde will replace Mario Draghi at the ECB from November. Christine Lagarde is currently the International Monetary Fund Managing Director. Lagarde took to Twitter to say that she was honoured to be nominated for the presidency of the Central Bank. She said that uh, she has decided to temporarily relinquish her duties as the IMF chief during the nomination process. Now, this means that the IMF may have to search for a new leader very soon. Lagarde's term as IMF managing director was set to end in July 2021. For the moment, the IMF has named its first deputy managing director, David Lipton, as the new acting chief. Now on to the other two top jobs. Belgian Liberal Charles Michel has been elected by the EU leaders as the next chair of the EU summits. He will replace Donald Tusk in the role of president of the European Council for the next five years. He will be tasked with building comp compromises between the EU member states. Michel was Belgium's youngest prime minister when he took office in 2014. The next five years will be very 
important for the future of the European project, and I am convinced that it will be very important to protect and to promote our unity, our diversity, and especially also our solidarity. I would want also to thank Donald Tusk for his dedication, for his commitment, and also for his friendship. And last but not the least, Spain's Foreign Minister Josep Borrell has been tapped to serve as the EU's new top diplomat in Brussels. Borrell will also have a seat on the European Commission and hence his appointment is subject to the approval of the Parliament. If Borrell is appointed on the post, he will become the first man to hold the position since 2009. Borrell has served as the European Parliament President from 2004 to 2007. Now, the four of the main jobs have gone to Western Europeans with no nominations from the Eastern European bloc. But the fifth top job, which is the role of President of the European Parliament, is yet to be decided. The leaders are expected to decide on it sometime later today. The members of the European Parliament who are in favour of Brexit turn their backs on the EU anthem and that overshadowed the first session of the European Parliament. Take a look. 